I was hanging out with a lady friend of mine recently, and uh, she couldn't find her cell phone, so she got out of bed to go look for it. And I called it, and I heard it buzzing, so I grabbed it, and I picked it up, and I saw that I was saved in her phone as Ramon Fuckboy. <laughs> Which sent me on like a roller coaster of emotions. Because at first I was like, huh? hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> which might seem weird to you, but like I've, I've never felt like a purely sexualized object before. So I was like, yo, this is dope. I just be out here fucking. This is great. Uh, but then I was like, wait, that means you don't care about me. That's not good. And I don't know how she meant it. I don't know how she meant it, but I don't know if she knew how I would take it. Because I don't know if you're familiar with the original definition of the term is a dude who gets passed around in prison to other dudes. That's not how most of y'all mean it uh, when you say it. But that's how it can be taken. So that was all running through my head, and then she came back in the room. And I was like, hey, I, f I found your phone. And she was like, oh, whew, I was worried I left it at work. I was like, yeah. I saw how I was saved in there. And she was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and like, obviously, it was a very casual, we were just kind of hooking up. We weren't dating each other, it was modern dating. We were like, Matt. And we started like hanging out a little bit and then we hooked up and we realized we liked the same snacks and we were like, we should do that more often. Uh, <laughs> but neither of us really had any expectations for the other person or if we did, we didn't express them. We were just kind of hanging out, hooking up, casual. I was like, what's up with that? She was like, well, you make me feel bad about myself every time we hook up. <laughs> Which, yo, I was, that freaked me out because I was like, why are we hooking up so much? <laughs> if I'm making you feel bad, that doesn't make sense. And she was like, well, the dick is great. And I was like, all right, cool. Uh, <laughs> but then that confused me even more because I'm like, oh, this is a casual thing and the sex is good. What, what, what? I was like, what's going on? She was like, well, a lot of times you make me feel like you don't care about me. You make me feel like I'm not a person. You make me feel like I'm just a hole. You make me feel like I'm just a piece of ass. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm what? I'm sorry, like how, but like how, what am I doing that is causing this to happen? Cause that's not what I was trying to, like I just wanna make you feel good, I'm making you feel bad, like what, what? And she was like, well, a lot of times, you'll just call your Uber to go home too soon after we get done having sex. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I am, I am so sorry. Like I didn't, I didn't think or realize or even consider that that would be hurting your feelings like at all. I was just trying to beat these surge prices. Uh, <laughs> But I thought about it, I'm like, yo, have I cared about every single person I've had sex with in my entire life? Have you? Clap as I pass you with my hand if you've cared about every single person that you've had sex with. Couple people just gently clapping. And everyone else. Everyone else didn't even think of clapping. Uh, everyone else was just like, oh no, never, not at all. Uh, which is interesting, because the last couple minutes, most of you have been sitting there looking at me like, you asshole. You emotionless monster. And now you're all like, damn, I'm a little bit of a monster too. <laughs>